Okay, so what do we have here today? I'm going to show you the easiest way I figured out to assemble the cross slide screw on a South Bend Heavy 10 with a taper attachment. So this is the screw that goes through the, the telescoping taper attachment. This piece here normally lives right here. The, uh, the screw passes through it. There are a couple of thrust bearings in here. Um, you can look up the specific assembly details, but basically you've got a cast, like a shoulder here, um, a hardened washer, the brass thrust ball bearing, another hardened washer, this is the taper attachment. This is basically just a hollow tube. Same thing on the other end. Hardened washer, the brass uh, ball bearing, hardened washer. This is just a fat washer underneath the nut that sets the preload on this whole assembly. And what you want to set this to is to where there's no play, but it turns nice and free. If you over tighten it, it binds and the screw doesn't work correctly. So I've already got the the uh, cross slide and all this on here. Um, you don't need to compound on it. I've already got it on. doesn't really matter. The nut is in here and you'll need to have this aligned so that you know it's in the proper position. So what we're going to do is going to feed this guy through here. And this is left hand thread. So figure out whichever the left is. And get it to start. There we go. Alright. And there are a couple of features on here you need to be aware of. There is this groove. There's a taper pin that sits through here. This groove needs to be, you know, up the top, otherwise the taper pin won't go through. There are a pair of oil holes here. They will line up with the oil holes in the casting here. So basically all we're going to do is screw this right in as far as it will let us. And it'll take it a fair bit. And is somewhere around here but basically you're going to line up the slot in the center of this hole drive the taper pin in and you're done with that end of it anyway there's the taper pin the other end of this is actually very simple so this is the hand wheel arrangement the, the dial goes on here hand wheel and there's a pin and a nut that retains it. This, to get this to line up, roll the, uh, you can't see it, there is a key in the top of this which actually you can't really see so it doesn't matter. Take this feed it in here, rotate it until you find where it lines up, and you just spin it on in. Just until the line for the dial is vertical, this should be snug. And that's all there is to it. I figured this out after doing it the wrong way a couple of times. And maybe this is common knowledge and I'm just an idiot for not figuring out on my own. But I was trying to get the compound or the, the taper attachment fed through through here and thread it in. And it was just a giant pain in the ass. So this is how I figured out how to do it. 
the easy way. Maybe it'll save someone some trouble.